I'm Louis Pacquiao, and these are your Bloomberg Law headlines for the week. First up, we are seeing a new round of law firm layoff. Yesterday, New Jersey-based Archer and Griner PC let go 14 attorneys, including seven non-equity partners, Bloomberg News reports. In addition, the 200-lawyer firm fired 27 staff members. This, of course, comes on the heels of substantial layoffs at law firm Patton Boggs based in Washington, D.C. Next, lawyers for the alleged Aurora theater shooter James Holmes showed up at their client's arraignment yesterday, 30 minutes late, and they said they were unprepared to enter a plea. Holmes' attorney Daniel King said that his team needed more time to complete psych evaluations for his client and examine the consequences of an insanity plea. Judge William Sylvester entered a plea of not guilty on Holmes' behalf, citing a law giving him authority to do so when defendants refused to plead on their own. Holmes stands accused of killing 12 people and injuring 70 more on July 20th, 2012. Finally, tech giant Google has agreed to pay $7 million to settle claims that it collected data from unsecured Wi-Fi networks while it built its Google Street View product. The settlement with 38 states and the District of Columbia also requires Google to educate its employees about privacy issues and sponsor a nationwide media campaign to teach consumers how to secure their wireless networks and protect their personal data. Critics, however, say the $7 million amount is paltry considering Google's annual revenue last year was $50 billion. So let us know what you think. Did Google get off easy for poaching personal data? Let us know what you think in the comments. That's what we have for this week. I'm Lee Pacquiao. Thank you for watching and see you next week.